Also, guys, stay tuned for the on foot at the end of the video. All right, so what's good, YouTube? It's your man, the son of some man. Who's my son? Who's my son? Who's my son? Who's my and we are back, back with another video. What's up, guys? What's going on? How's everyone doing? Hope everyone is well to whoever's tuning in, checking us out today. But if you are brand new to the channel, please do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button down below as we continue to drop sneaker content around here consistently every single day. Also, too, you're brand new, you want to get notified every time we drop a video, just hit that little notification bell down below as well. Now, guys, today's video, we actually got the W on Nike. If you haven't seen yesterday's video, checking out what I got on, click the link at the top of the screen. It'll bring you directly to that eight and nine. Huge shout out to them. Use my code, some man, to save 15 to 20% off. I'm telling you, the clothes are fire. You're gonna see today the pair of pants I have in the on foot with these uh, Air Jordan ones. But anyway, guys, without further ado, let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, guys, first we have the box. Now the box is paying homage to 50 years of hip hop. Now back in the day, back in the 80s, early 70s, early 80s, late 80s as well too they were rocking these gold chains these gold rope chains i was actually just talking to my co-worker today about uh new jack city and uh they will rock nino brown definitely had a chain like this in that movie man but the packaging is so fire this is the air jordan ajko union collab i actually got the wr nike like i said you know earlier in the video this you know it's so dope we got the union on the side here we got Jordan in gold, Union again, and obviously the rope chain with the Jordan medallion. Very, very fire. As for the inside, it's got the uh, the rope chain. It's got the medallion in there too. It's got Jordan, the Jumpman with the Union. Kind of like a uh, said dark navy blue inside. But yeah, the paper. Very, very nice packaging. I, I must say so myself. But, all right guys, without further ado, let's get into today's review. But here we have it guys, the Air Jordan 1 AJKO Union. I did not know the entire shoe was, you know, uh, cloth, which I like. I wonder if it's tear away. You know how they're doing the, the shoes now with the, uh, the tear away material? I think that's dope. There is one thing that is dope on here that you can actually tear away. But whatever, let's get into it, guys. All right, guys, taking a look at the outsole. As you notice, it is a totally different outsole. This kind of looks like, to me, I seen the, uh, the Jordan 1 Panda High Golf today, and the the outsole look kind of just like that. As you can see, we got an all neutral gray outsole. Moving up, you kind of got that vintage uh, colored midsole. I guess, you know, this year, that's what they're going for. I mean, it's being 50 years of rap. You want, you know, the shoe to look a little vintage, and, you know, that's what they go for with the, uh, with that, with that color blocking on the, uh, on the midsole itself. Moving up to the toe box, as you, you know, it's a Jordan 1 toe box, but we don't got no perforated holes on this one. Uh, this one is just all cloth, man. Really nicely done, really well stitched. Moving up to the front of the uh, lace eyelet, as you can see, we got that branding, that Union branding, they do it, they, they've, they've put it on basically all the collabs they do with Jordan, which is, that gives it a little, uh, nice little touch there. Moving to the swoosh. Now this is my favorite part of the shoe. Not only does the swoosh come off and underneath it reads Union LA, but the back folds up so that you can hide the swoosh, the end of the swoosh. I think that's really cool. Really, really dope. Really, really nice detail. Loving that. As you can see, we got the LA Union uh, tag right there on the uh, swoosh, on the tip of this, on the end of the swoosh. 
All right, guys, as for the back of the shoe, as you can see, we got the AJKO Air Jordan 1 Wings logo. I mentioned that before, it flips up. This is also leather. That's the, uh, I guess they made that for it to be flexible, uh, which I think the, uh, you know, the cloth material would have been a lot more flexible on that part, but it is what it is. Moving to the inside of the shoe, same as, you know, same swoosh comes off. Reed Union LA underneath. Very, very dope, man. Overall, I'm going to give the shoe a 9 out of 10. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. All right, moving up, you got some flat laces kind of matching what's going on with the, you know, with the midsole. Kind of got like that off-white look. The tongue is a regular nylon tongue. Moving up, you got that, you know, famous union stitching as well, the yellow stitching. All right, you got the Nike tag at the top of the tongue. Also, the top of the tongue, it comes unstitched. So you can see the actual material that they actually, you know, use for the tongue, which is pretty dope. Taking a look at the inside, as you can see here, it says size 11, style code. Very dope, they're giving it that nostalgia, the old school vibes, very dope. But this thing, uh, but this shoe does come with, uh, let me get to that real quick, put this down here. The shoe does come with extra swooshes, which are right here, you got obviously four of them, blue, very nice. Uh, and it does actually come with an extra pair of laces as well. You got the all gray lace. Pretty cool. But anyway, guys, let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. Are you guys a fan of these? Are you going to pick them up? Did you hit on the Nike sneakers app? Let me know your thoughts, your opinions in the comment section. I truly appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. Remember, check out 8 and 9. Links are in the description. But until next time, it is your man, the son of some man. And we're out, guys. Peace.